Watch from the back. It's enough for me to see your marriage. Tom? Oh, Tom, what's the matter? Tom! Tom! Tom. Father! Call 911. Thank you. Hurry, please. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right, man. It's okay. I don't, don't think so. Yeah, yeah, just hang on, okay? Jonathan, take care of her. No, you're gonna be okay. Promise me. No, sh 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 the ambulance is speeding. Promise me. All right, I will. I will. T tell her. I love her. She knows that. Tell, tell her it's okay about John Michael. What? No, I'm John Michael. <laughs> tell her! Tom? Tom! Tom! Hey. Jonathan. You know, he's not even cold yet, and you're after me to come back. No, Evie, wait. There's something you need to know about Tom. No, I don't want to hear it. Evie, Evie, wait. You need to know this. Evie, please. Evie, just talk to me, will you? Evie, why do you hate me so much? Evie, please. I promised Tom. Please. <laughs> met you, you were kind of young. I said you won't settle down, gonna want to run. But you assured me that was not like you. And now that you're gone, my words have all come true. Know what you got when you got it. Don't you be a kicking yourself for the rest of your life. Know what you got when you got it. When you have to choose the time now seems right Know what you got when you got it Know what you got when you got it Know what you got when you got it Don't you be a kicking yourself Know what you got Lisa, we've been together for six months. When are we gonna do it? Oh, you're so romantic. I mean it. Everybody else is doing it by their date. I'm not. Why not? It's just sex. I keep telling you, it's important to me to wait. I've been waiting. Married wait. If all you want is sex, get it from somebody else. But I want you. That's my dad. You better go. Oh, we were just getting warmed up. <laughs> Cool your jet. Whoa, uh, <laughs> sorry, you two just headed from my office. That's okay, Dad. Aaron was just leaving. Uh, yeah, Mr. Michaels. I'll see you tomorrow. You will have to wait. Excuse me? I won't have you checked till I get back from the doctor's office around noon. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'll be happy to wait. Yeah, for that you'll wait. Hey, Elise, anyone you want to send Tide to? No, Dad. He's pushing me. So I gathered. Watch yourself. I will. I don't want another Sam. Yeah. 
Sam broke both our hearts. How do you know who's the right one? Oh. <sighs> well, I never told you this before, but I was going to marry someone else before I met your mom. You were? Yeah, but she didn't choose me, just like Sam did to you. And then when I met your mom, I thought, I can't fall in love again this quickly. But Holy Spirit let me know she was it. So I married her. Not just romance, you know, it's commitment. So I should hear voices? Uh, no. But if you listen, God will let you know. So I should put Aaron on the prayer list? Yeah, St. Jude, impossible causes. <laughs> okay. By the way, I still pray for her, you know? Who? The woman I was going to marry. Why? Long story. The prodigal returns. <laughs> it's been two years. Been busy. How's business? Good. You should know from our sales. Yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> Are you mad at me or what? Uh -oh. I mean, you used to come in every week. I, I, you just disappeared. I've been seeing somebody. Good for you. Who is it? She's a nurse. Saw me playing in a bar. Nurses are good. I almost married one myself. Funny thing, I married this one. You got married? Yeah. Jeez. Well, I wish I'd known I'd uh, sent a present. And I've got a kid. Had to. Had to get married. I, I get it. So it's a no. small wedding and you just... No, no, no. Didn't have to. We've been married less than a year. We just got started early. <laughs> uh, well... Congrats, Dad. <laughs> so, uh, Marianne is expecting, too. Oh. <laughs> Tom, I don't get it. You just disappear. You don't return my calls. I mean, I, I, I thought you and I were closer than that. I mean, why don't you tell me? Because I married Evelyn. Wait, Eve Evelyn Baker? My Evie? Yeah, she's mine now. She told me all about you and her. Now she wised up just in time. Yeah, well, you know, I, I have excellent taste in women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Excuse I guess me. you too. Is this <laughs> Jesus in the garden, unprotected? Is this Jesus to love his people, but be rejected. What's the matter, hon? Uh, had a fight with Lisa. Well, you're about due. What's that supposed to mean? You date someone for a few months, then you have a fight, then you break up. Well, I thought Lisa was different. After all, we've known each other since we were little. And what Lisa is this? You know Lisa. Michaels. Lisa Michaels? That's the Lisa? Yeah, I told you that. No, you didn't. You said Lisa. You didn't say Michaels. I thought you knew. There's only one Lisa. Well, I'm sorry. You've been through so many of them. How would I know? What difference does it make? Plenty. We keep the Michaels at a safe distance. Strictly business. Well, you're right about that. No pleasure there. You're better off, you know. Yeah. Why doesn't it feel that way?
We're closed. Go to a bar. Heavy. Hello, Jonathan. May I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. I drove by before I didn't see you. I had to get my feet washed. What? Holy Thursday. Of course. It's impressive. I, uh, I've only driven by. Hey, uh, let me show you around. It, 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 it's changed a lot. I, I mean, uh, first we were just a wine store. And then we started with uh, tastings. Then we had the wine bar and appetizers, and eventually we added full meals. It's been good to us. Put our daughter through Catholic school, gave her a place to work during the summer, always fed us. The Lord will provide. <laughs> uh huh. Are you doing okay? I'm fine. I manage. Because I'm here. If I can ever help you in any way. Did you know that my Aaron is dating your daughter? <laughs> of course. They're in here all the time. Well, I didn't. So I think we need to split them up. I think they're doing a pretty good job of that on their own. <laughs> Seriously. I see. OK, well, why don't you sit down and we'll talk about it? But hey, you have to try something first. Um, I seem to remember you like semi-dry whites. Dry reds now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A sophisticated palate. Well, madame, may I recommend our Ohio flight? <sighs> we begin down south on a bluff overlooking the Ohio River with a Cab Franc from Kincaid Ridge Winery. Not bad, huh? And then up to Lake Erie with a Pinot from St. Joseph Vineyards. Yeah. Bon? Yes. <laughs> and then finally over to the Church Winery on South River for the holy taste of their Trinity wine. Oh, that's good. Um, uh, <clears throat> now, my dear, from the Vintner's Private Reserve. What is it? Family secret. See that wine press over there? My grandfather owned that, and people said he made the best wine in all of Little Italy. And I know the secret. Ooh, that is good. Uh -huh. Please, sir, may I have some more? Easy. It's potent. Oh, I can handle it. <laughs> What's the secret? I can't tell you till the statute of limitations is up. Oh, come on. You can tell me. Your secret's safe with me. Rock candy. Rock candy? Shh. It's Shh. illegal. <laughs> it raises the alcohol content. That's why my grandpa's wine was so great. It knocked you on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good to see you. You look good. So do you. Presence is enough for me. My emotions run.
wear those cowl neck sweaters. Presents for me. Occasionally, they're back in style again. I used to love those on you. Fix you right up. I'm good with feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. You always had gentle hands, Jonathan. Thank you. It's a very nice place. I never knew. Maybe you could join me for dinner sometime. Even take you to a play. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you would, would you? Yeah. It'd be fun. Oh. I don't know. You still remember how to hold me? Always. I better go. Uh, no, I, I think you should stay. No, I gotta go. Okay, I will take you home. I will go myself. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> You are three sheets to the wind, my dear. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dancing was fun with you. It's always yeah. fun. Yeah. Why is that, Jonathan? In vino veritas. I know that. Mm-hmm. Are you true? Yes. Yes, Emmy, I am. Come on, let's get you home. Come on. Okay, we're there. We made it. Yeah, yes, we're there. Yes, and that's your bed. <laughs> light as you used to be.
What are you doing here? Sorry. Sort of fell asleep yeah. last night. Here's hair of the dog. It's perfect for a red wine headache. Your grandfather kicked me. I told you. But, hey, I told Tom I'd take care of you, so... When did he ask you that? I'll tell you sometime. Yeah, I don't believe you. What, if I ever lie to you? Not that I know of. Listen, Evie. Evie, last night was fantastic. I love your company. C could we just do things together again? You were my best friend on the planet. I miss you. No way. Why not? Even you said, Leslie, you always have a great time with me. <laughs> last night I was drunk. So what was last night about then? Well, last night was about our kids. No, no, last night was about us. Don't give them a lifetime of heartache like we've had. What makes you think I got heartache? Oh, okay, fine, no, no heartache for you. You just do to Aaron what you did to me. I am trying to protect him. From what? From a lifetime of oppression. Oppression? The greatest gift you ever got was your faith and you just threw it away. I don't need it, or you. Okay, well, fine. You just let Aaron and Lisa choose for themselves. Maybe they won't throw it away. Get out! All right. But there's something you need to know. You remember 30 years ago when we were camping and, 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 and we stumbled in that little clearing and, and we couldn't believe there was a Catholic church there. And I took it as a sign. And when you were standing next to me there, at that altar, I swore to God that I would always love you. And I have kept that promise. And it didn't matter when you walked out on me later, and it didn't matter when you married somebody else. I mean, sometimes the only way I knew to love you was to pray for you. But all of my life, I have been totally, madly laid down my life in love with you. And I always will be. Always. Jonathan! Jonathan! Me too. Oh, Abby, I love you so much. I love you too. I, love you. I just... I never stopped. Well, I want you. I couldn't tell you. I know, I know, I knew. How? Just, you couldn't talk, but I, uh, I just never thought I'd hold you again. <laughs> no, 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 please. I want you the right way. I, I want all of you. still have potatoes, can't you? Oh, yeah. It keeps me alive. <laughs> you know, I never understood how you could be allergic to everything. Eating out with you was a nightmare. I know. People still ask me if I lived in a bubble when I was little. He used to resent it. 
But now I understand. How so? Well, you know, I'm celiac. I have to watch everything I eat just like you. I didn't know that. You didn't? No. So, have you learned to cook celiacally? I'll have you know I have turned into a pretty good cook. I will be the judge of that. Okay. You're on. Tonight, I'm going to make you a dinner that'll knock your socks off. All right. <laughs> Crime and Ants, Good Friday. I can have meat. It's all right. I'll make you fish. Deal. Jonathan, I need to tell you something. What? Thomas and I... Hey. Hey. Uh, hey, I had to... I had lunch with Michaels today. Hey, how'd you ever eat with that guy? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't have any wheat or, or flour or corn or, or rice or corn syrup or dextrose or MSG. I mean, what the hell could he eat? <laughs> Preservatives? <laughs> Probably. And then after lunch, he starts in on me. What do you say this time? He thinks I should become a Catholic. He, he thinks that because I'm married into this big Catholic family that it's somehow a sign. Oh, wow, come on. Yeah, well, he's probably just saying that to, to bother me, so. He sure was a lot more fun before he got frickin' religion. Yeah, I'll say. Kooky-ass religious fanatic. I, I mean, I mean, our life is just fine, isn't it? Of course it is. Yeah, but we don't need that stuff. Who needs to be Catholic? Sorry, I, I didn't mean that. Hey, fine, you know? <laughs> Mr. Goody Two Shoes. You know, who listens to a guy who still bites his nails, so? <laughs> or to somebody who wears that stupid ski cap like he got it from a longshoreman down at the wharf. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he whistles guitar solos. Mm. Uh, that, that's annoying. <laughs> I tell you what's really annoying. Right before he falls asleep, his teeth chatter. Hey, um, <clears throat> we have tickets to that play tomorrow night, don't forget. Yeah, I forgot. What, what are we seeing? Streetcar? Hey. I married you. Good thing. So, you see? God got me back. Well, because you're Celia? No, because I made fun of you. What did I do? What do you mean? I've been this way since birth. What did I do? N nothing, I guess. Well, then God didn't get you back either. Of course he did. You know the story of the man born blind? And they asked Jesus whose fault it was, and he said, nobody. It was to show God's glory. What has that got to do with it? We can't eat wheat, right? So if we go for communion and it doesn't bother us, we can testify that it's a miracle. Speak for yourself. I am. Doesn't bother me a bit. Now give me a cracker and ugh, I'm sick. And I'll bet if you just come back, it'll be the same way for you. How do you do that? What? Twist everything to ask me back. It's either an art or OCD. Oh, come on, lighten up. I don't do it all the time. Just seems like it. Jonathan, I'm sorry. For what? <sighs> Making fun of you. <laughs> it's all true. It was mean. Hmm. Well, then you used to have to be punished. <laughs> oh! It's okay, you know. You were just protecting each other. When I met Thomas, I, I didn't know you knew each other. How could you? I didn't even meet him until after you left. 
and I was married, and so was he. I never even told him about us. Oh, babe, I know that you think he was your friend. Uh, he was. Look, the four of us used to hang out together all the time. We took road trips. And then, then they started going downhill. Ah. Uh, First Tom would tell me stuff, and then Deb, and then Tom, and then Deb, and then Tom, and it was, just, yeah, it was like being stuck in bed between them. But the, he was committed. She never was. He talked to you. Yeah, who do you think was there with him through the whole mess? When I met Thomas, he told me he was divorced. And I told him about you, and he, he said he knew you. He made it seem like you were nothing to him. Did you know that he was the only one who, who took a chance on me when I started the wine bar? But I he, mean, if it wasn't for him, I, I never would have even survived. He told me it was to make money. Yeah, well, maybe so, but he, he risked everything. I, I, I owed him big time. I never forgot that. <laughs> Doesn't sound like him. <laughs> yeah, well, he never let me forget it. Even so. Hey, Michaels, can I get that check you owe me? It'll be someplace. What? What's the matter? Did you write to Evelyn again? Hey, what's wrong? Mary had died. Right here. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Michaels. Jonathan. I keep thinking any second she's going to call and ask me how my day is going. I know you think because of Evie I didn't love her, but you're wrong. I loved her completely. She, she was my rock. Oh, she. She was a good woman. <laughs> Too good for you. <laughs> Somebody upstairs liked you. You feel like a party has been torn away. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember the first time I saw Marianne. I didn't even know why she went out with me. She told me later she couldn't stand me. Yeah. Well, you have that effect on women. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And then, a few months later, she says she's in love with me. So I, I prayed about it, and somehow I knew it was what God wanted. Figured he knew better than I did. So I married her. Did you love her? You mean as much as I did you? Marianne was a gift from God. She was everything I wanted with you. She, she filled our home with faith. She was the one who gave Lisa her character. She was amazing. One time, we were in bed together, and, and then later, I was half asleep, and suddenly she shook me. She had tears in her eyes. You said, I love you, Evie. Yeah. I was terrified, but I told her the truth. That even though I loved her, I'd never gotten over you. And then she hugged me and she said, if you love someone, 
you never stop loving them, even if you can't be with them. Then she said, why didn't you let the Blessed Mother watch over her? So I put your picture in the wall of the grotto, and she put mine in the opposite wall, separate but safe. I loved her even more after that. If you hurt, I hurt, she said. If Tom had done that, I would have kicked him out. No, I knew he had feelings for his first wife. He wouldn't have married her otherwise. She came to the funeral. Not happy. Yeah, well, I have mixed feelings about all this, too. I wanted to spend my life with you. But if I had, I never would have met Marianne. And I can't bear the thought of that. Evie, the two most painful things I ever experienced were Marianne's death and you telling me you didn't want to have my babies. I didn't want any babies. Well, you gave me your word. No, I didn't. Yes, I told you I wanted to marry you and have a family, but that I was afraid you'd want to run around. I don't remember, Jonathan. And you said that wasn't like you, that you could be committed. I don't remember. So I asked you to commit, and you said, all right. I don't remember, you Jonathan. You didn't have to leave me. You took me ring shopping. Everybody was saying if I married you, my life would be over, and I, I, I would never get to do what I wanted. I, I wanted to go to South America. And I told you that wasn't true, that you could do whatever you wanted with me. You know, my dad hated you. What? Wait, I never knew that. Yeah. He found out we were sleeping together and he thought you were bad for my morals. Okay. I was wrong and he was right. I know that now, but couldn't he see how much I loved you? I wasn't gonna let him stop me again. So I married Thomas, divorced or not. Oh, why? Why do you have to go and die on me? We were supposed to go to the beach and spend time. We were supposed to grow old together. So why did God do this to me? I, I, I know, I know you don't want to hear this, but God knows what he's doing even when we don't like it. But I'll never see him again. No, yes, you will. Just trust him. I don't want to trust him. I want Thomas back. I know. I know. And I want Marianne back. Whether or not I'm coming. <laughs> Listen, if you hurt, I hurt. Oh, oh you scared me. Uh, sorry. Can we talk? Only a minute. What is it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about last night. It's fine, but I don't think we should see each other anymore. Wait, wait a minute. You, but I come over here to apologize and, and maybe tell you I love you and you dump me? I'm not dumping you. It just won't work. I want someone who believes what I do, and you don't. Uh, so I'm not good enough. I didn't say that. We're just different. OK. Go find yourself a Catholic guy. Aaron, Aaron! When I went away, 
I never went to South America. I never joined the Peace Corps. I never did anything. I was pregnant. <clears throat> what? Wait. Is that why you left me? Evie, Evie, I, I would have I would have married you. Oh, I know. Wait, did you did, did you leave because it wasn't my baby? No. Jonathan, you're the only man I was ever with besides Thomas. Well, then why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't know when we broke up. And I wasn't ready. And then when I was, you were already married. No fair, no, 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 you just, you just disappeared. God, what did you do? I took care of it. You took, you took care of it? God, I mean, no, God, no. I knew what? you would hate me. No, 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 no. Don't you know, there is nothing you could ever do that I would not forgive you for. I'm sorry. I still love you. I still love you no matter what. It's okay. God will heal us. Just have to have to let it go. It's, we, can't, we can't change it. Hey. Hey. It's, it's Good Friday. We, we have to go to church. No. Evie, we have to pray for our baby's soul. No. No, we don't. Yeah, well, how, how can you say that? I, I just, I just, I just know that he's fine. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going. And I'll see you after church. I just found out that Evie was pregnant when she left me. And she had an abortion. What did you say? I told her I still loved her. But it hurts. Please make it stop. Well, think about Evelyn. She's been carrying it for nearly 30 years. And Tom's gone now. And she needs healing even more than you. You need to be present for her. I am. I just wish she was more like Mary Ann. Well, God made only one of us. The seeds are there. As much as you want her, God wants her even more been praying for 25 years. Seeds can lay dormant a long time. Keep praying. Come on, I'll give you a blessing. Father of love, bless your son Jonathan. Hear his prayer. Bring her heart back to you. Love them both, your love be all. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. I'll keep praying. Just don't know if I've got another 25 to give. Lisa and I had another fight. I went to tell her that she dumped me. Well, I can't say that I'm surprised. Why? Because of who she is. 
What's wrong with who she is? She's a Michaels. They're nothing but trouble. What t trouble? Never you mind, they just are. But they're our best customers. Which is why your father put up with them. Right, but I've been going in there since I was little. They've always been really good to me. They're too Catholic. Well, you were Catholic. How come we're not? It's complicated. Your dad was divorced, and in order to get married in the church, he needed an annulment. I, I didn't want to wait around for a long time. I left the church, that's all. Well, it sure would have come in handy now. What is it? It's your baptismal certificate. Wait, wait, you mean I'm, I'm Catholic? Yes, dear. Your grandfather insisted. You never told me? I didn't raise you that way. Why bring it up? <laughs> well, who am I? Well, you're my son. See, I never should have told you. There. Now it won't matter if she can cook. <laughs> oh, Lucy, I am home. Oh, excuse me, Father? Yeah. Uh, can we talk? Of course, yeah. Sit over here. What's on your mind? I just found out that I'm Catholic. What did you think you were? Nothing. <laughs> well, uh, I guess now you're something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what. It's like finding out you're adopted. You know, who am I? You could come to class and find out. I just graduated. I, I don't ever want to go back to class again. That's too bad. 20 years of school for your mind and not a day for your soul. How else are you going to find out who you are then? I don't know. You got osmosis? No. <laughs> but I do have immersion. Uh, I've been baptized. No. Uh, start coming to church regularly and uh, see if something rubs off on you. Do you have a Bible? No. I'll give you one. I don't suppose you've ever gone to reconciliation, have you? No. Uh, what's that? Penance? Confession? You know, tell your sins to God, leave them all behind. Oh, you mean, uh, bless me, Father, for I have sinned, mm. uh, just like in the movies. Yeah, just like the movies. <laughs> Come on, I'll teach you. You're going to feel 10 pounds lighter. Oh, babe, you remembered my favorite. Mm. I could be in this moment with you forever. Jonathan, thank you. Oh. So sweet. Ahem, <clears throat> here. What is this? Open it. Oh. oh. It's our old house. Three generations of bakers. Four. My grandparents built it. <laughs> why they have to go and tear it down. Turn it over. 
You always thought it was so cool the way your house was right next to the steeple. It was like God's hands were covering you. Smothering me. Every morning I'd come down for breakfast and there'd be a priest sitting at the kitchen table <laughs> drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Any time they needed something, it was always, go get the Baker girls. Uh, well, your sister must not have minded. <sighs> she still goes there. Yeah, well, that's her. Who painted it? Uh, some guy. <laughs> Lisa, my mom just told me and... Uh, apparently, I'm Catholic. I think you would know something like that. No, I was baptized as an infant. Okay, but you weren't practicing, so it doesn't really change anything. But it could. Listen. There's something I need to tell you. I'm... I'm not what you think I am. Then who are you? I'm still me. It's just... I'm not a virgin. There was a guy I thought... I gave in. Wait, wait, all that holy stuff that you put me through and you're not a virgin? I'm sorry, I, I was trying to get it back. Well, you can't. I meant some uh, purity. What was I supposed to do? Just keep doing it with everyone who came along? No, just me. It's supposed to be for marriage and we're not. Well, you didn't love up to your words. You're not a virgin by a long shot. Yeah. But I never pretended to be something I wasn't. Why wouldn't you leave Thomas and me alone? So, he needed an annulment so that you could be married in the church. So you stopped going because you didn't want to upset him. And then you were afraid you would lose him if you did. So the longer it went, the harder it got to go back until finally you gave up. We made vows. I know. I bugged you because I could testify to the validity of Tom's first marriage so that he could get an annulment. And after that, your marriage could have been holy. Well, your letter certainly didn't help. What? You kept asking me to come back to you. Dear Evie, I need to tell you something. I've been fighting cancer for a while now. I'm on a last ditch treatment that seems to be working right now, but they tell me when it quits, I'll die. I just want you to know that you saved me. You gave me back my soul. I didn't even realize I lost it until you made me want to be the best man I could be for you. Oh, Evie, don't you miss God? Don't you miss Holy Communion? I lost you in this life. I don't want to miss you in the next. Please come home to our faith. It's the most important decision of your life. Come home, please. Hey, sweets, what's for dinner? Hey, what's wrong? He thinks I'm going to hell. He said that? Son of a bitch. Who does he think he is? I'm going down there. No, Thomas, let it go. No, this has gone on too long. I, 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 I'm going to cut off his supply. No, don't. Yeah, it ends now. Hey, Tom, what's up? Yeah, here's what's up. I want you to stop sending my wife these letters. It's freaking her out. These letters? I haven't written in five years. You know what I mean. Did you read it? She told me. Read the letter before you yell at no, me. No, I, I don't care. We don't care. It's over. Why don't you get that through your head after all these years? Why don't I get it? 
You think by now you'd understand there's no such thing as a coincidence? There's a reason that Evie was with me and, and, and why now I'm the guy that can testify that your first marriage wasn't valid. That's the way God works. He picks the last guy on earth you want to hear it from just to test you. Uh, yeah, do the voices tell you that? Or is it just some, just some weird pleasure of yours to harass us? Do you think this is fun for me? I swear, I try and stay away. But then this, this burning starts in my heart and this voice wells up in me and says, Evie, come home. Tom, change your heart. This is a war. And you don't even get that I'm on your side. Stay the hell away from us. Okay, who am I supposed to obey, you or God? Me! If she loses her soul because she followed you, then she... Then what? Then she'd have been better off with me. Is that what you want? Look, I love Evelyn more than you could ever love her. And I don't make her cry like you do. Fine, fine. Just, I just wanted you to have what Marianne and I had. I wanted us to be together in heaven. Everybody goes to heaven. No! No, they don't. Not if you turn away from God. Thomas, please. You're her hero. Save her. Some friend you were. Poor man. Hey, it was the truth. You are obnoxious and overbearing. I was willing to have you hate me because I loved you. What? You think I? this is what I wanted all these years? Let me tell you what I wanted. I wanted the four of us to be friends. I wanted cookouts at the house and, and to play games after dinner, to go to a play, to visit a winery. I would have taken you in my life any way I could. Jonathan. We could never have been friends. Why not? Because you and I loved each other. We couldn't be together. That's not true. We could have been friends in faith. OK, so what if I got tipsy and told you I loved you? I, I told you I loved you, too, but that you had to go back to Tom. That's all? No, I'd have gone outside and cried. See? <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I didn't say it would be easy, but, but it, friends in faith get past that. They get past jealousy. There's no, there's no, in heaven, there's no husbands or wives. There's just love. The four of us could have been a little piece of heaven on earth. Oh, Jonathan, that would have taken a miracle. What do you think this is? An argument. You know, maybe we don't love each other no. so much after all. It's because we love each other that we're arguing. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Jonathan! Jonathan, wake up. You're snoring. I must have fallen asleep. I'll go as soon as I my hands. Wait. Come with me. <sighs> There's no law against cuddling, is there? Never go to bed angry. Everything I ever did, I did because I love you. Oh, I know. What's the matter, babe? <sighs> Come on, I know you. It's just fruit. Fruit? Are you diabetic? No. Look, I don't want to hurt you, but it's just I wanted to have kids with you, you know? There's something that I have to tell you. 
What? Ooh. Promise. Promise me that you won't get angry. I told you I never stay angry, Rich. Okay. We have a son. What? No, 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 you said that. I said I took care of it. I didn't say how. I went away. They had the baby. Then I gave him up. Oh. Mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, Emmy. I am so no, sorry. No, no. I, I should have told you. I don't care. He's alive, oh, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you sure that you're not angry? I mean, no, I just, I, I couldn't stay angry at you for long. It's just, I, just, <laughs> I gotta go. No, no, don't go. <laughs> Bathroom. What's his name? What do you think? <laughs> How should I know? He's named after his daddy. Really? John Michael. <laughs> That's what he meant. Who? Never mind. Look, hey. I would rather be happy than angry. But why on earth? Earth, did you let me think that? I guess I wanted to see. See what? If you really loved me. If I, you, oh. Oh. you gotta be, no. God, I'm sorry, babe, I'm sorry. How can you say that? Wasn't it always good to you? Yes, that's what made leaving you so hard. There was, there was never anything to blame you for. You are never going to break me loving you. I'm not worth it. Stop it. Nobody's worth it. It's a gift. It's too late now. No, it is never too late. I'm not worthy. Yeah, well, God thought you were worth dying for. So do I. I know this won't make any sense, but I have been going to mass every day all these years because I felt like I was protecting you. You're right. That makes no sense. <laughs> Maybe someday it will. <sighs> I know your heart, Evie. Just let it out. I love you so much. We have a son. What do you want? Uh, I'm sorry I'm not what you thought I was. Not the first time someone's let me down. Aaron, I love someone and they let me down too. And it still hurts. But there's something you should know. It's about when we were kids and you used to help your dad. What are you gonna tell me now? I've been in love with you since we were little. But I never thought you'd be interested in me. When you finally came around, I was afraid to tell you I'd been with someone else because I didn't want to lose you. I'm sorry. I'll never keep anything from you again. Well, that'll be easy since I won't be around. I, I mean, I'm sure you won't. No. It's fine. That's all I had to say. Is my dad here? No. Then why is his car out there? I don't know. My mom still sleeps. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah. What is going on? <laughs> nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Dad, how could you? Nothing, nothing happened. We just were sleeping. What are you doing together? I guess we gotta tell him. Uh, tell, tell us, us what? what? Okay, uh, 
A long time ago, before either of you were born, your mother and I were going to be married. And, and but I, that's, that's not all. Uh, she just told me that we had a son who, uh, who she gave up for adoption. But I, you both have a brother. <laughs> uh, we don't actually know where he is. Yes, we do. He's a priest. What? what? Well, I didn't want to hear that it was a sign. Is everything you ever taught me a lie? No, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa no. Wait. <sighs> well, that went pretty well. <laughs> if that doesn't break him up, nothing will. <laughs> okay, are you sure we don't have a twin daughter who's a nun? <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna hop in the shower. <laughs> you know I want to, <laughs> but we can't, I can't. What are you talking about? How about I stand out here and hand you your towel? Ah! Oh. The thrill is gone. Just go. Hey, no peeking. Here's looking at you, kid. Come on in. Where'd you go? Oh my gosh. Aha, uh -huh. Milady Evelyn. Tis I, Sir Jonathan, thy humble servant. Wilt thou lend me thine ear? For I have traveled long to find thee and tempt thee with a most sublime <laughs> request. Wait a minute. Why are you wearing a French hat and talking like Camelot? Aha, uh -huh. tis the best I could do on short notice. So very well then. What dost thou propose, kind sir? that thou wouldst join me at the altar of the Lord in holy matrimony and make all Christendom happy. Oh, Sir Jonathan, tis so sudden. <clears throat> Contraire, milady, it has been 30 years in the making. And now, wouldst thou marry me and make me the happiest man in jolly old <laughs> wherever we are? And if I do not, wilt thou fall on thy sword? Perhaps I should cease, lest my tongue offend thee. Yes, Sir Jonathan, thou better stop. <clears throat> it's very nice. Try it on. No, methinks not. Why not? You still insist on getting married in the church? Of course, that's where you go. I won't go back. Why? I won't deny Thomas. You don't have to. Just listen. How's the family? Uh, they're fine. She's fine. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about taking you up on this Catholic stuff. Are you still going to sponsor me? Really? Of course. I'll even testify for the annulment. You know that. Yeah, great. So I finally convinced you to sign up, eh? Oh, yeah, I finally listened to you. Uh, I see. <laughs> You're a lousy liar, Tom. Come on, what's the real reason? You never listen to me a day in your life, you stubborn old mule. Doc says I have a bad ticker. Well, that's a routine fix. No, no, not mine. He said I need a new one. And I'm too far down the list. Oh man, I'm sorry. What can I do? Just help me with this Catholic stuff. I don't want to die. And all she remembers is that I kept her away. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I've been praying for this. Uh, I figured. But I, I never wanted you to get sick. Uh, yeah, forget it. What do I have to do? So Tom and I went to class. That's what he was doing. I was afraid he was having an affair. <laughs> no, he was with me. Why didn't he tell me? He was afraid that if he didn't get the annulment, it would make it worse. We prayed about it a lot. That's what he was doing. I had this dream where he was kneeling by my bed praying. I didn't believe it. I guess he really was. Probably. He really loved you, Evie. I'm so glad that he was good to you. Anyway, things were, things were going great until. Here, congratulations, my son. You are a free man. It's here. All right, way to go, Tom. In the matter of the civil marriage of Thomas Theodore Goodman and Debbie Jo Goodman, made name French, this tribunal hereby issues a declaration of nullity based on a presumption against the permanence of the bond and the refusal to be open to children by the latter. Therefore, Thomas Theodore Goodman is free to have his marriage to Evelyn Marie Goodman, made name Baker, blessed in the church. We should bless you both soon. I, I, I want to get to Easter to be baptized, then we'll see. You think she'd be upset if I stood up for you? Probably. Well, she's going to find out when you get baptized and I'm your sponsor. Yeah, <laughs> but best man, yeah, I, I, I don't know. All right, all right. It's enough. Uh, just watch from the back. It's enough for me to see your marriage blessed and Tom. Oh, oh, Tom, oh, Tom, oh, Tom, oh, Tom. Father, Father, call 911. <gasps> What's the matter, buddy? Come on, come on, come on. You're going to be all right, all right? Come on. I don't. Think so. No, no, no. You uh, yes, on. heart right? attack, I believe. <gasps> Very severe. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be all right. Yes, 10 oh, West no, no, Monument no, no. Street. Come on, come on. Shh, shh, shh. Thank you. No, no, no. Uh, hurry, please. You're gonna be okay, all right? You're gonna be all right. Jonathan, shh, shh, shh. you're gonna be okay. Won't well, get baptized. Yes, you will. Mother. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There now. Catholic support. Thank you. Jonathan, 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 take care of her. No, no, you're going to be OK. Promise me. I, I, the, the, the ambulance will be here any seconds. So Promise me. All right, all right, I will, I will, I will. Tell her I love her. She knows that. Tell her, tell her. It's okay about John Michael. What? No, I'm John Michaels. Tell her! Tom? Tom! Tom! Father! Come on, Tom, breathe! Breathe! Oh, Lord, you can't die. Maybe we need you, man. Lord, make him breathe. God! God, who's that ambulance? Tom! Tom! You... You saved him. Just like you saved me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You made us both want to be the best man we could be for you. We loved you that much. So you see, your marriage was holy after all. And you don't have to deny Tom to come back. Why can't you and I just be? Because our hearts will never rest until they rest in the Lord. Come back to me with all
What's that? <sighs> Just trying to put us back together again. Didn't you love Mom? Oh, honey. Of course I did. I always will. Then how could you love Aaron's mom at the same time? Honey, you can love more than one person in this world. Once I chose Evie, but she didn't choose me. I didn't stop loving her. It was different with your mom and me, with her and Tom, but, well, now I have a second chance. I choose her again. It's all I can do. I don't know if she'll choose me back. There. You're not going back there tonight, are you? Yep. I got Easter Vigil, and then my own kind of vigil after that. All night. Dad. Oh, honey, it's not what you think. I told you, nothing happened. Pray for me, sweetheart. You... Maybe you should go and pray for Aaron. Jonathan, it was you. Jonathan? You gonna stay there all night? What if the neighbors see? Thomas, what should I do? What are you doing out here? Gardening. All right, this is sick. I'm calling the cops. Oh, here, here. Use my phone. Why are you opposed to the one thing that would heal you? I'm fine. And why do faith and forgiveness frighten you? Why are you making a fool out of yourself? Anything worth fighting for is worth making a fool of yourself for. I will fight for your mom with my last dying breath. And you, if you don't love Lisa that much, you're the fool. Your father was Catholic, you know. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he converted just before he died. Mom. What's going on? What did he tell you? That Dad was a Catholic. So I'm told. I never asked him to be. I mean, first me, now Dad. You are. Grandma and Grandpa were. Who are we? I don't know, Aaron. 
But when you figure it out, you let me know. Thomas? Oh, thank God. You're alive. Hi, sweets. I missed you. Oh, I missed you, too. But you're here. I'll take care of you. Jonathan, where's Thomas? He's waiting for you. Where? Where you should go. Then help me. Take me to him. I've been trying to. Jonathan, I don't understand. I'm scared. Don't be afraid. He's always been there, calling you home. Who? You know who. No, I don't. Jonathan? <sighs> Jonathan, you are the stubbornest man I've ever known. I can't sleep. I just had a nightmare. <sighs> can't stop thinking about her mom. I love her. I think I always have. Even if you don't like her. I like her fine. Is her father. Huh. Uh, I don't care. Tomorrow, I'm going ring shopping. Okay. I give in. Lord knows I've tried. Here. It should stay in the family. <laughs> I'll go tonight. No, 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 no. Hun, wait till morning. It'll be more romantic. A girl needs something special to remember. Jonathan. <sighs> if only it were that easy. Excuse me, miss. I'm from the Goodman Distribution Company, and I'm interested in developing a long-term relationship with your business. Hmm. Uh, specifically, I would like to be your sole supplier of wine, food, protection, and affection. Oh, I'm also interested in multiplying our assets. 
uh, through the sequential addition of, of s small, <laughs> small personnel. <laughs> Would you be open to discussing such a proposition? Perhaps. Mm. What's in it for me? Happiness mm. and free wine. I'm listening. Well, as a token of our commitment to such a relationship, I would like to offer you this unique white gold and carbon pressed finger band that has been in our family a whole generation and which is our pledge of loyalty to you and your enterprise. Hmm, seems real enough. What did you say your name was? I didn't. But I am Aaron Thomas Goodman, son of the founder. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Lisa Marianne Michaels, daughter of the proprietor. And I think we can do business. I accept your token as a pledge of your commitment. But the beret's gotta go. <laughs> well then perhaps you come around to this side of the bar and seal the deal, partner. <laughs> In vino veritas. In vino amor. I'll always love Thomas. Oh. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> Our time? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> what happened? If he gave me back the ring. Dad, I'm so sorry. She came back to God. That's all that matters. I remember, Jonathan. Really? It's about time. Jonathan, we're in church. Just... Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, happy happy Easter. Easter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and God bless us, everyone. Okay, tiny <laughs> time. Three weeks later, Evie married me in the church. Our son, John Michael, said the Mass. It's not every day you get to marry your mother and father, he said. Lisa and Aaron got married about six months later. 
And John Michael said that mass too. It's not every day you get to marry your brother and sister, he said. For the next four years, Evie went to mass in communion with me every day. She became a woman of great faith, just like Marianne was. Oh, and no problem with communion being wheat either. About a year into it, she says, this is better than before, Jonathan. I should have come back sooner. <laughs> oh, Evie. Were we happy? <laughs> you bet. We finally made up. Mm. It was healing. It was peaceful. It was love. Then she got breast cancer. First Marianne, then Tom, and then Evie. I held them all. The Lord gives. Thank you, Lord, for the time you gave us. I buried her next to her beloved Thomas. I try to go every day. There's a bench on the hill where I can see both my girls and pray. Meanwhile, I'm still in remission. Go figure. Anyway, I miss them. They're, they're probably up there making fun of me right now. Make sure there's no flour in that. You steal that hat down at the wharf? Well, what can you eat? Maybe you should live in a bubble. <laughs> All right, knock it off. Don't make me come up there. Love 